Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the sixth round here of the third Winter Major Rankings. We are seeing White Towers versus Pepea. My name is Renke, I'm joined here by Avoid tonight. And this match is brought to you by our lovely broadcaster, Kati. Super John. Uh, let's see what kind of match we will be seeing. We have White Towers versus Pepega. White Towers on the blue side and Pepega on the red side. But before we are going to introduce, how are you doing this evening, Avoid? I'm doing absolutely amazing. How are you? Yeah, great as well. Hyped for this game. Um, let's quickly uh, get through the teams here. White Towers is playing with Matt Villain, Jax, Cortex, Sanguine, and No Brain, No Game. And on the Pepega side, on the red side, we have Sneaky, Rixo, Rank, High, and Froud. Sneaky already making the first capture. Uh, and I have to say, as well, seeing Pepega this, uh, yeah, low is not really nice to say, but this low on the bracket surprised me. So I am thinking we were going to get a one-sided game. But what do you think? I'm not sure really. It's gonna be an intense match today. I think we might actually see four rounds for some mm. reason. These interesting. It will be, of course, an entertaining match, so that's for sure. Yeah, right now we can see players pushes positioning um waiting to stage an actual attack right now we can see ford backed up against a wall with sneaky there taking out sanguine this might be a stage attack sneaky high ritzo up in the opponent's base but rank taking out one player there which does lead to a good good attack here can they pull it off though high using amazing hunter od leaving those two opponents low sneaky putting the flag gets that repair off now maybe the paladin is low here can they take out the paladin they are only faced with the viking on the left side here this must be looking like a good attack that can be successful but the hunter coming in high is Going to get pressured by two opponents. Can he pull it off? Does have a little bit of trouble getting around that corner there. But Cortez using an OD just to break down that wall for some reason, not his opponent. I think he needs to get his target on point or something checked out. Rixo now using on no brain, no game. Just trying to secure this capture. Jax going in with a Aries OD. I thought it was a total waste, but it apparently hit still Rixo and uh, Sneaky. But not able to get a return in. And this will be the second capture for Pepega. We see uh, Yax, the heiress of White House, catching another OD box. So although he just used OD, he can use it once again here. Um, but Pepega is, is getting, uh, getting some captures in right now. Yeah, most definitely they're doing extremely, extremely well there. Um, with two flags secured, with only six minutes, 30 seconds left. On the timer there, does show that they're doing extremely, extremely well. So hopefully they can keep up the good work. Definitely, definitely. We see no brain, no game now in the middle of the field, dealing some damage, but not able to. Um, Get through the base of Pepega. We now see Sanguine with Matt, Matt Villain. Sanguine with a Paladin OD that can be pretty effective. He's going to use it right now. Um, Matt Villain is quickly going towards him indeed. Oh, nice. Nice shot by Rank. Totally from the other side of the match. Map uh, knocking out the Paladin there. They just enabled this OD. Yeah, Rank is really, really controlling the right side of that map extremely well. The OD is falling out, Ritzo with no DA and no repair. Can he pull it off? Yatch going in for a beautiful OD through mid unexpectedly there. No brain using that Viking OD, but it wasn't it as Fraud did lock down that OD and secure it. Yeah, Fraud there managing to catch that OD box. Uh, and a lot of ODs were used by White House, as you pointed out. Um, they're in a difficult situation right now. They only have Matt Villain here ready. Uh, and on Pepega's side, we have loads of overdrives ready for, an, uh, for another attack. But the first round isn't looking too good here for White Towers. 
We see Sneaky now using pretty early back in the base. He still has two players to uh, to go against here. He's quickly getting through them. Frout now using as well. It's a really well prepared attack. On the other side, we have Rank also with that Crusoe D ready. This has to be a catcher for Pepega already if they don't make any mistakes here. It does seem like there. Ooh, nice Ooh, shot nice. there from Cortez. Yeah, totally from the other side of the map. Uh, no, really anyone that can take the flag over. Sneak here with the good spawn. Taking the flag over already. Very low on health. But had a repair kit ready. Of course, he just spawned in. And that's the third capture already. With Cortex with some nice sniping shots from, uh, from the base of, of White Towers. Yeah, most definitely. And I just think right now, Pepega is absolutely showing the skill gap between White Towers and them. I think it might be able to be wrapped up very quickly. We might just see three rounds. Take it back. We won't see four rounds. <laughs> That's my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally agree with you on that one. It's uh, Let me actually check which lineup Pepega faced um, to see them here at a three against two a score. Um. Let me check. Lostic they faced and Default. I felt like Default and, and Pepega are really close to each other, to be honest. Yeah, most definitely. I believe they're roughly on the same skill level. So, you know, I think they had a close game. I think they lost to Default, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a close one. Um, but that's why Pepega is here in this bracket. Same bracket as you are, three against two. Um, but the skill gaps are still pretty large in this uh, so far in the tournament. Mm. Didn't expect to see that. Yeah, same here. I was really, really expecting slightly different. Like they probably could have beat Default, but Default as well has just just improved for so much, so so much. Yeah, they only lost against Spirit, so that's. A very good tournament here for them. Yeah. Oh, D box dropping in here. Weekso can do a use and take and will go for it. Yeah, a very average use and take OD, you know, you have to use so. It's most of the time not the most effective. That's exactly what happened here. Matt Villain using on two people, pretty nice winter OD, but not able to create anything with it. Down to the last two minutes, and it really looks like this will be the ending score. Yeah, Pepega just really, really showing their hand that they're just the more dominant team here, to be honest, with only one minute, 30 seconds, as you mentioned. Right Towers right now is backed up against a wall here. They really, really trying to keep the light on before it turns dark here. But the dark days have arrived with only um, behind three flags. I don't think they'll be able to pull it off with one minute remaining. Maybe we will see another capture though, but then from Pepega High with a Hunter OD that did not... Uh, Pop off in time, and he got knocked out before uh, reaching the players. We still have Sneaky here, though. Sneaky with Froud. We have seen this combination of an attack work uh, this game already. Sneaky once again pulling here. I think he still has his repair as well. This looks like a very promising attack once again for Pepega. Yeah, he's really living up to his name, being very sneaky there. Mad villain going for a counter pull with only 25 seconds left. They won't be able to do much as they have um, already lost this round. Yeah, White Tower still going for this return, though. It really shows that they are willing to fight this game. Although, no brain, no game. Um, yeah, didn't really use his brain here in the last 30 seconds. It do of course, doesn't matter, so you, you can't say anything about it. You know... If you already lost, then I would, I, I would also not focus that much, you know? Yeah. Wow, his KD. Oh, my. 
Oh my, really living up to his name, eh? <sighs> Oof, that's not great. That's not great. And look at Cortex, by the way. Uh, insane. Um, what combo was Cortex playing? He was playing Cruise Rail, right? Cruise Rail, yeah. Who's the Cruise Rail from uh, Pepega again? Is that rank? Rank. Look at the difference. And Cortex is the losing team. Cortex is really playing a good game, then. You definitely impressing. I totally agree. He's definitely probably playing his position. He's playing smart. He's playing safe. He's not rushing out um, into the open, taking unnecessary, unnecessary damage. Because Cruise Rail is really, really, um, I would have to say, kind of tricky to play play with it and get a good KD. But I don't see him controlling the the side of the map. I think Rank is doing a better job with that. Whereas Eris supporting him. So I think maybe Mad... Um, Maybe Cortex might be just playing back in the base and he's not necessarily pushing out. I don't know. I have to analyze and see how he plays this round, if that could be the case. Yeah, there's an interesting point you're making that, of course, when you are in the base more often, you will always have a better and a higher KD. Um, but there is more than having a high KD, of course. So let's take a look at him in this round and see uh, how he's performing and how the rest of White House is performing. Because if they want to stay in the fight here, they really have to step up a bit. They really, really do. Uh, but that guy, no brain. Oh, they removed him off the map and they replaced him with your white son. Wow, that was quick. Okay, interesting. Not performed as good as hoped for, so replaced. It's like we're watching a soccer match, indeed, or a football. You know, when you make one mistake, it's just out of the field. I think that substitution was definitely needed anyways. Yeah, to be honest, I have to agree with you on that one. It's always harsh. Definitely for, uh, you know, I hope it's all well communicated, you know. Otherwise, you can create some, some bad friction within the team. Uh, but it's for the best, you know, for the best possible outcome of this match. And sometimes that's without, uh, without yourself as player. Oh, the Viking wasn't able to get that. Your white son does swoop in with his paladin and secure that OD. Mad villain does choose to switch to hammer. Rank there pulling the flag. Now mentioning it, what Cortez and your white son is there holding on the fort. Yeah, we see Cortex indeed staying back a bit. Let's keep taking a look at him. Um, mm. Your white son starting with Reaper there? Did I saw that correctly? Has to be an accident. No, because what's this happened? What has happened recently? The update where it's forced player to start on their their last supply that they clicked on. Yeah, but you can click it off before before you spawn in. Yeah, but you'll be so surprised how many esports players that aren't used to this new update, to be honest. Yeah, true, true, true. To be honest, it, it got me by surprise a few times as well in matchmaking. Um, but it's not only... You have, of course, the auto supply setting that's probably turned off by everyone here. I, I wouldn't really see a reason why you would play with that setting, to be honest. But yeah, what they it off, but it's still it's still different. Yeah, you you, still you can now at the same thing. You can now like pre fire supply even when you're not spawned. So when you press like yeah. uh one or whatever keybind it is on, you repair kit. Um but get knocked out before uh it kicked in, then it will just stay activated for your next spawn indeed. So you have to actually take a look at uh if you have any uh, any supplies um queued. And turn it off yeah, yeah. before you spawn. Yeah, yeah. It's true. It's the amount of players today in in trainings that was actually were a bit bamboozled, a bit <laughs> frustrated about it because even myself, I had to be honest, you know. I was thinking, what is this update? You know, I, I'm so confused and why am I on repair when I'm spawning? And yeah, so yeah, many yeah, yeah. sports players now have to adapt to this new update. But, but have you tried out the supplies at all or not? And that could turn this um, with it off? 
did you try turning it on? Like I, uh, I to be I honest, I didn't even give it a try. Yeah, I had it on and I was thinking, why am I on nitro? Why am I automatically on nitro? <laughs> and I was thinking, what is going on? But yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I didn't even try anyways, to be honest. Wow. I mean, what do you think about the update? Do you like it? Uh, I understand why they implemented it, to be honest, especially with now the controller being added as a, a control option. You know, it's actually a bit harder to take, uh, to get used to using supplies or something. And with it automatically oh. turned on, you know, new players can not accidentally just forget about supplies. So I understand why they do it, but settings like that, I would really have them turned off automatically for, for accounts that already were created, you know? Yeah. But and I think they should do another additional setting for like the old settings. Yeah, that you can't uh, queue a supply when you're... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That you can't queue supplies when you're knocked down. Like a repair kit. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's just, you have to keep <laughs> checking over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, yeah. yeah. I have the bad habit to actually like smash my rebar button in a yeah. fight. So when I get knocked out, <laughs> yeah, I really have to learn how to adapt. Wow. Well, oh, fingers crossed you get used to it. You know, it shouldn't be <laughs> too much of a pain. Nah, definitely not. For everyone. Everyone will just have to adapt to the new metal. That's true. That's true. Papaga is also uh, having to adapt to this new side they are playing on the blue side. They've not been able to create any capture opportunities so far. Yeah, it's just been like they're playing ping pong back and forth. They're not even making much attacks. As you can see, Mad Villain, your white son, on Paladin, activates his Paladin Overdrive. The dead tank does block the ramp there. If he ever steps up high, is going to absolutely punish his dreams, as expected. Four minutes on the clock right now. And White Tower it really looks like they can keep the defense going. Yeah, right now Pepe Gazuna remains in position. They're not even stressed at all. The more pressure is on White Towers at the moment as they lost the the first round. So we got Roughly two more rounds to go, as long as Pepega stays in the leads here. Yeah, indeed, indeed. If they can win this or tie this round, then it can be all over in the next round. But if White Towers wins this round, then we will definitely see a four-round match. So it's all in the hands of uh, of the players. But Pepega really looks happy with the draw, to be honest. It's, uh, they are not taking any risks in an attack. Yeah, they're playing safe. I'm actually surprised, you know, they're not they're not rushing out into the open, taking unnecessary damage. They're focusing on where their opponents are and where they're positioned. The OD is falling now. Sangwing is up against two opponents. So if he does go mid, he will get punished. Um, Ford looking for opportunities to go down there and take the OD. Mad Villain doesn't seem to notice two opponents that are on mid and that does lead to Ford um, securing that OD just in time. Yeah, down to the last three minutes here right now. Fraud now using. Yeah, go ahead. Knocking out two already here. Matt Villain is probably the third already. Matt Villain is choosing to drive away. Uh, Fraud overdrive worked out here. Trying to knock down Yax, but Yax still alive. One HP, but he has an OD ready. He can use it here for defense. 
on the other side, Sneaky once again living up to his name, knocking out EX. And Rank with a real opportunity here. He doesn't have health, but he has the flag. Okay, that's a great defending OD here from VX. Yeah, most definitely. He felt threatened there. And Sangman trying to pull the flag there. Mad villain going in for a beautiful OD. This could still be a catcher. But Rank using an OD to take out the Ares there. What absolutely stellar performance. Not even giving them an opportunity to capture that flag in just two minutes that was left on the clock. It's got a bit tricky here for Pepega though. They are of course still not in the lead. It's still a tie. Um, they're taking a bit of a risk by not creating any capture opportunities here in the first six minutes of the match. Sanguine doing a huge and take here. So the OD control is in the hands of White Towers. And if they can create something here in the last minute, then they can easily win this round. Um, first they have to defend here from Rank and Rixo. Good spawn here by, by you, right, son. That has to be a return. Though, it's already a bit far out of the base for a return, but Cortex still being able to get a flag back to the base. Down to the last minutes of this match, and we have Sanguine with an OD. Let's see how he can use it here. Yeah, Sangman using that to the best of his ability there, but the opponent really hiding and hide is absolutely full IQ there. And he just gets that return. Um, he could have got a return, but it does slow down his opponents. Yeah, it looks like we will get a tie in here for this round. So Pepega can finish it on the third round if they manage to win it. And White Towers is still in the game. So we will get uh, an entertaining third round. And let me check on which map. Um, Red Alert. Wow. Red Alert. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Very interesting. But we can see Pepega playing really, really well. So I think already it most likely is going to be leaned towards Pepega. But we, we have to see. Can't speak too soon. What do you think? Yeah. Um, whew. I think super, uh, I think uh, uh, I bet I will just finish here in the third round, to be honest. Okay. I've got the link real quickly as well. Which is good. Yep, yep, yep. Are we ready? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you typed already or not? Oh, yes, we did. Uh, okay, no I worries. I just no worries.
Yeah, last round, probably. Well, well. I mean, fingers crossed this is the last round. It's getting a bit exhausting. <laughs> we will get one more high energy round in the void. Come on. <laughs> no, I feel yeah. But uh, for White House, it's hopefully not the last round. Mm, well, White Towers, I think they're going to try to give it all that they can. I, they do have the better base. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, they're in a good position to get it to four rounds at least. And maybe get even more. Mm, they are. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It all depends because if the Ares does control mid, which is like high. If he controls mid, it should be very, very good. It should be good days for Pepego. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. We will see. We will know it in a bit less than 11 minutes. And these teams are, of course, not out of the tournament if they lose. They only have to play another round. That is, of course, better for you. The amount of TMR points you get to, uh, to get a fourth win here in this round. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Ooh, and if Pepego wins this, right? Um, they're done for this Armour free, right? They don't have to play any more games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then they're done. Okay, okay. This is really, really good for them then. Right, Ford did manage to secure that OD for Pepega there. So that does put them in a good position. Quartets um, controlling a good side of the map. Mad Villain going for attempt to pull the flag, but he's low without repair there. Two players do spawn on Mad Villain and Quartets, and they do get taken out at very, very quick succession. Yeah, let's see how this will evolve here. White Towers, as you re uh, said earlier, on the better base. So they have to get a fourth round in here um, if they want to have winning chances. It's definitely hurt. Well, we got to we got to see. Hopefully, um, we can see something like that a fourth round, but. Ford going in, activating his Viking overdrive. He should be able to get this successful pull there, but Cortez and Sanguine is watching him. All eyes are on him, and they do get that return for White Towers. Sneak here with an OD. We see rank with an OD as well. Let's see what they can create here. Wow. Bit of server lag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cooking again today. <laughs> see, rank is really, really playing patient there. Mm -hmm. He's seen what's going on and he's seen if he goes up, he's going to get punished. So that's what I do like about how Rank is playing. He's playing safe. He's not going in the open, taking unnecessary damage and just going for those peach shots, which is nice to see. Yeah, he's really playing uh, playing it safe. And I have to say, Pepega is really patient as well, um, the whole game. Yeah, most definitely. They're just playing safe, patient, and that's what's keeping them in the game right now. Rank there, um, backed up against the wall, getting damaged by White Sun behind him. Can White Sun pull the flag? He does get away as Sangwing does lead the opportunity for that. Oh, but nice shot from Ritzer.
We see you white turn here with Matt Villain trying to create an attack. Matt Villain, all the way in the base, he can be a really annoying here right now. Full health without repair though. Going for the flex, Yax with an OD. It is high in the air, but it still heals them a bit. Rank with a lovely cruise OD. And Froud with the return. That's what we call teamwork here from Papega. Yeah, this most likely does seem like it's Pepe's game. Maybe Freud can activate and clear those in mid. No, he doesn't need to. Okay, he's good, he's good. Yeah, that's the first capture in for Pepega. Now it's going to be risky minutes here for White Towers. They have to get a capture in if they want to continue here in the sixth round of this tournament and uh, fight for the win. If not, there's still no issue. They can get through to the seventh round. But it will be a high pressure moment here for them to get some uh, some TMR points in. Yep, and talking of TMR points, I think I don't even know how much they're gonna get. So <laughs> I shouldn't even talk about TMR points, anyway. It's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure as well, um, but the more wins, the quicker, the better. That's what I know. <laughs> yeah. But TMR points, we will see actually, because I think it's the guys that are in top eight immediately, they don't have to play, play the first stage for the major, right? Yeah, I think as well. And you got the paint, of course, as well already. Um, yeah. So that's... A goal of many teams and if you play all the three major rankings then you have uh of course the biggest chance to get to uh to that stage immediately and i have to say uh avoid that you are doing a good shot on that as well with uh, with potatoes yeah i mean we've been absolutely working our hardest these armor one and armor two and three to absolutely just lock in enough points tmr points where we just don't have to have a hectic um, uh, uh, major, to be honest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds great. So fingers crossed, I should be able to be play um to commentate with you for the first stage, and I won't be able to um play though until the next stage for the major happens. Sangwe yeah. activating his bike in OG OD. That was literally a cry and a, a cry for help when you use that one. Down to the last three minutes of this match, at least highly likely. Maybe White Towers can prove us wrong here and show us some, some beautiful flag captures. Let's see. Yeah, with only three minutes left as well, right? So they're um, holding down the fort there on defense. Maybe he's going to have to feel the need to use, but he does get taken out very uh, very quickly there. Cortex might be trying to take over the flag, but he's butt up into the corner as the dead tanks are in the way. Sneaky at the maintenance pallet in overdrive. This might be attack for Pepego here. Yeah, Pepega are really trying to turn this attack around here with Sneaky, with a Paladin OD healing not only rank, but also Froud and rank with an OD still. But they are all very low on health, so it looks like White Towers will be able to defend this attack. Yeah. Right now, it's not even looking good for White Towers. They just think, they're just saying, you know what, it's over, but we're not going to give up just yet. But they're gonna keep powering through and if they do take the loss they're going to accept it and just move forward mm -hmm. it looks like it mad villain putting a flag with hunter hammer here he does go the right route as he noticed that more opponents are on the on the flank sides of the map can mad villain pull it off 
Matt Sanguin there to take over with the flag there. He does seem like he's going to get the capture. Wow. Can he pull it off? But Sneaky does get a critical shot off. Yes, you feel it, the need to use that Aeris overdrive and securing that first capture for White Towers. Wow. They're not giving up. They're really, really giving it all they can. White Sun does get a use and take scenario there. This is looking good right now for White Towers. These guys are really, really pushing it and giving it all that they can. Yeah, I thought it was already over, but here in the last minute, it's still very close. Matt Fedden using a nice hunt OD on two players. He X sadly does not have that OD anymore. He had to use it in, for defense. But Matt Fedden is still putting this one down to the last no minute. No way. We are getting a tie-in. No way we just witnessed two flag captures within one minute. Just like that. Yeah. Well, White Towers is really secure in here to play the fourth round. Um, although, maybe Pebeka can show us something sneaky here in the last 40 seconds with Sneaky himself. No, he got knocked out. Yeah, it really looks like, uh, like this is a tie and we will get to the fourth round. And then you are uh, correct on the end, Avoid, about playing four rounds. Yeah. Not something we weren't necessarily hoping for, but wow. Yeah, best case for White Towers though. Although 12 seconds, no, it's not enough. It's not enough. Yeah, it won't be enough. You know, that should have never happened though. <laughs> no, Pepega, um, Pepega really slowed down after two captures. But let's just uh, go for it here, right? Fourth yeah, round. They really, really want me to use your last percentage of energy. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Gonna have to have a word with Pepega after this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't want to be with joining that. It doesn't sound like a very nice meeting. <laughs> oh. Let's see, will any of those teams score a tech pass as well when that OD box will drop? Oh, who knows, who knows? Tech pause, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> right now, that overdrive should just drop bef um, after 11 um, minutes. Because right now, any team that does a tech pause, GG's. <laughs> oh <Come> my, <laughs> <laughs> let it drop after. No way, oh my God. Gosh, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already know what will happen. We already know what will happen. Your right turn is taking that OD box and... Wait, bro, are they going to say it? it? Come on, no one say anything. Two seconds left. Let's go. <laughs> Let's, go. <laughs> Let's go. For real. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. yeah. We will still see a match. I wasn't feeling that tech pause, honestly, to be honest. I wasn't feeling it. Nah, nah, Those nah, nah. Viewers nah. aren't feeling it as well. Definitely not. Definitely not. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to get... Give them the best energy I can for the last match. <laughs> as best I, as I can. I hope I can match it. We see how you currently from Pepega on uh, Shaft. I don't know if that's a funny, funny troll combo or is uh, is serious. Oh, he's playing Shaft and... Shaft and Hunter. Uh, oh, this is him. He likes to do these funny combos sometimes. Yeah, but for a risky round like this, if White Tower wins this one, we will also get into tiebreakers, the void. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a word with Hayo after this. I'm really um we can see White Sun and Sangwin going in a going in with a strong attack here. White Sun at taking out the Viking immediately, Ritzo is next to be on spawn there. Sangwin pulling the flag with Viking. This is looking strong. 
right now, as we can see, Sangwing has no resistance. Fraud on the left side, they're taking the right route, but beautiful shot there from rank there, taking out the opponent there. Can they get the reason and sneaky does and fraud securing that OD that was left on the ground like a little present? Yeah, a fraud with that Viking OD, that's something dangerous here. He will not use his attempt. I think he already used his repair kit. Um, but let's see what he can show us in the next round, in the next phase of this uh, of this round. Um, right now we will see another attack by White Towers though. We see Cortex, Matt Villain, Jax. Trying to create something here. Matt Villain is putting this flag currently. Dropping down already. Dodging the shots of rank really well done by him. And this already looks like a first capture, although look at that shot from rank. High sniping uh sanguine out, and this will be a return. Maybe you're right with that combo of high. Is he one of the sneaky combos? Yeah, he likes to experiment with these combos. Like he plays them fairly, fairly good to be honest, but I don't know. Um because yes. he rank here pulling the flag with Crusader gets taken out very quickly. Sanguine here trying to pull the flag, but already returned. It's still a tie, but it's definitely not a boring start of a of the fourth round. That's been close to capturing for both sides already. Yeah, most definitely. I'm surprised, you know, as well. We got like a hundred viewers on the chat. Um, on the stream watching, it's usually never this much um, when it's this late, to be honest. So, not, not, not all hyped for this fourth round here. I mean, let's let's take the take it to the chat, um, guys that are watching the stream right now. Who do you think is going to win today? Do you think it's going to be Pepega or do you think it's going to be White Towers? I want to know your thoughts. And yeah, um, what about you, Renke? Do you think that Pepega or White Towers will win today? Yeah, I still think Pepega, but with those goofy combi combinations, uh, or with how they spilled the win, to be honest, here in the third round, White Towers, it's too early to call them out, you know? Oh, look at Rixo, they're spilling an OD here with Sanguine. Uh, Sanguine taking the flag, knocking out two, but he got knocked out before he could capture this flag. But White Towers is really dangerous at the moment, and I. I feel like uh, Pepega is. Um, will let it slip in the last minute or something. They do not really um, show confidence on the field. It's all a bit messy. I don't know. Yeah. I think everyone just all over the place right now. And we don't see any actual structured attack that has been successful at the moment. Rank just tried to pull the flag here with low HP. Does get pinned down by his opponents there and gets taken out. The OD is falling right now, but Ritzo is very low. Um, does he have repair there? Yeah, it takes him out. High going in. High might go for a risky use and take. Mm, don't think he should, but he does. He's I don't still using it. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame him for that flip. He needed to do that um, to secure the OD. Yep, yep, yep. I like how he still use it, although he already knew nobody will uh, be hit by the OD. Yeah. Match is reaching his halfway point and it's still 0 0 currently. Fraud, sneaky, and rank trying to prepare an attack here. High with shaft on the other side. But no ODs ready, so it's really difficult to create an opportunity here to pull a flag. What a slow, slow game. Yeah, yeah, agreed, agreed. Pepega is not really hurrying at all. White Towers is attacking a lot, but just not able to break through the defense. And that gives it a pretty boring game, to be honest. So, yeah, most definitely. 
most definitely. I think they do require OD. Yats is full HP and the OD is dropping right now. Yats might be able to use for Sangwing, but Yats is too distracted by Rank there as his Rank is really focusing him. Yep, too late. That was Yats now has wasted a overdrive. This will lead an opportunity for Pepega to stage a good attack as the Eris has no more overdrive to use her. Rank stepping up on the mid. The Eris is taken out. This could be a strong um, attempt to pull her. Rank using on Mad Villain. Mad Villain. Villain, the tide has turned. Rank is the villain in this situation, but Cortex makes Rank being in, caught in the vortex there. Maybe High can use and pull away. High could have just used, I don't know. Yeah, and maybe that would have saved some damage. Uh, and Rico, uh, OD would hit him, you know, because the shot uh, less of impact on, on High. I don't understand why they didn't use, but the pool is still going strong. Rico here. Saving it from being returned. Fraud using an OD. Squeezy, sneaky using an OD as well. Everything here to secure this capture. And it looked like finally Pepega will capture a flag. Yeah. You know, as soon as Yats wasted that OD, they just pushed aggressively. And uh, same thing I anticipated. That's why I said it in a bar. As soon as Yats wasted, I said, I know they're going to push now. I know they're definitely going to push. And they went in just like a a bunch of um, bulls there just going in for the pool. Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. They knew that one mistake was, was enough to um, be able to create an opportunity here to pull the flag. Um, but White Towers is White Towers, and they have shown us that they will never give up here. Like, round to round, again, they getting a tie in, in the last minute, and now they will try to force around five here as well but they need two captures here in the last two minutes very difficult task yeah, it's going to be extremely difficult for them but would they manage to do it yeah let's see let's see i currently with an hunter od and that's the only one from Pepeka, if I'm right. And on White Tower side, we have Yax having an OD ready. So it's not... Uh, it's very small amount here for the last two minutes. Yeah, Sangwin has an OD now. I think mm -hmm. Sangwin could probably use her. Claire these three opponents. Uh, ah, this will be respawned by the time he reached the flag. Yeah. But it's it still could... If if they were attacking on the right side, it would have been nice, you know. Mm -hmm. Something. Um, but Jack and Sangrin definitely can do something, to, you know. Yeah, you're right. You just risk it, you know. Yeah. Sangrin Although might go in from the left side and use her for that return. He's gonna use. He should use from now. Mm, yeah, good decision. But only one minute. White Sun pushing on the right side. They could be able to lock in that return, right? So does seem not doesn't seem to notice that the OD is falling now. Can his co teammates communicate with him that what's going on there? But I guess he's focused on that return, and fraud would lock in that overdrive. Maybe fraud can use straight away to clear everyone on spawn. Exactly what he does indeed. Just wiping down the attack. This will be the last opportunity here for White Towers, and he knows if he just knocked out a few players there, then. It's pretty much over. And that means Pepega is winning this game. Yeah, most definitely. It did shake them up there um, with that last OD from Ford, just putting them all on respawn, as you mentioned. Well, I guess congratulations to Pepega for, for ending the armor free on a very good terms. And looking in the win against White Towers. Yeah, definitely. That's their winter major rankings for them. They are going to prepare for the winter major. Um, and White Towers will have one more shot to end in the green phase of this tournament. And I, I'm pretty sure they, they will reach that. You know, they are definitely at the skill level to get uh, a four against three overall score. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do and agree with you. Um, so should I wrap it up? Yeah, sounds good, sounds good. All right. Um, 
well played to both teams. Congratulations to um, Pepega. And thank you, Super John, for broadcasting. You're always doing an amazing job and always beautiful commentating from you, Renke. And my name is Avoid, guys. And I will catch you up with the next stream tomorrow. So, stay tuned. It will be on Monday. Good night. Peace.